Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I am going to be showing you how to validate an email using C++, so let's get right into it. Firstly, make sure you import these three libraries as we'll be needing them for this tutorial, IOStream, Rejects, and String. Then we're going to do std string user input equals jeff at gmail.com. This string represents user input. This tutorial is teaching you how to validate user input, not how to get it. And then we're going to do stdc out arrowheads bool alpha arrowheads is valid email user input. Don't worry about this bit. We'll be going over that in a moment. Bool alpha basically makes sure all booleans are printed as false and true because by default in C++ they're printed as 0 and 1. False and true are more readable. You don't need this, but I'm having it. And C out is just printing to the console. So we are going to do bool is valid email std string input. So it's a boolean. It's going to return a true or a false. Is valid email is the name of our function, and string input is the email we're going to validate. We are going to do two lines of code. So basically, we're going to be using a regex pattern. So what is a regex pattern? Well, basically, it's short for regular expression pattern, and we can set a pattern or a set of rules as a string, and that's called our pattern, and then we can compare a string to that pattern to see if it matches the rules set by the pattern. So we do std rejects pattern r speech mark bracket little pizza hut hat square bracket. Don't worry, I'm not gonna read this all out. It's in the description for you to copy and paste. So what does this rejects mean? Well, to put it in simple words, this regular expression as a whole checks for the following. The email address must start with one or more word characters. Then it needs to have an at symbol, and then it must be followed by one or more word characters or dots, followed by a dot. And then the dot must be followed by a two to four word character. It's not a perfect regex, but good enough for validation. And then we can do return std regex underscore match input and pattern. So regex underscore match. We are going to check if our if a string, which is going to be our input, matches the pattern, which is going to be our regex pattern here. This statement will return a true if there's a match and a false if there isn't a match. And we can put this on the return line to return that result to whatever we called the function. With that out of the way, let's save our work and hit play. As you can see, it says true because we have what the email needs. But what if we remove the at symbol? Then it becomes false because there's no at symbol. So let's put that back. But let's put a really long end. Well, it says false because in our email address, we specify it has to be between two and four characters. So what if we did one character? Well, it's false. But if we did gov, well, it's true. Let's remove this part and just see what happens. And it's false. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more C++ tutorials. Thanks for being a great audience.